Let's create this beautiful liquid glass effect from Apple inside Figma. Let's go. I'm going to start with a frame, opacity to it, use 0.1, give some strokes, make it white, three stops in the linear gradient. I need all of them to be white, make them 80, 20, 80, make this 45 degree. I'm going to add a corner radius of 35, make it smooth. I'm going to add some effects into it, starting with the inner shadow itself, like minus six, minus five or maybe minus eight, Give it a nice little burr, maybe 10, and make this white. You should add one more inner shadow for the top part. So I'll just add one more inner shadow. Five, 10, give it a nice little blur again, 10. To add that drop shadow effect, 12, 12 should be good. Give more blur this time, 30, less spread. Make this 20 maybe. You can experiment, but this is what I love. See, we have got this nice little glass effect. I'm going to add one rectangle inside it. Completely white, 0.1 opacity. I'm going to just add this inside this. Let's add one texture effect with maybe 70 or no, 80 and 30. You're not going to see it until unless you add a background blur on top of that. And four or three should be good. So I'll just keep it at four. If you see, we have already got this nice morphism. You just need to add a bevel on top of that. Now I'm going to create one more rectangle, same size as the frame. So I'm just going to paste this inside this, make sure it aligns with it. Add a stroke, remove the fill, give it maybe like 10 or 12 just to get that bevel effect. Give it white, now add a layer blur effect, like 10. Now I'm going to change the opacity to 10. See, we have got this nice little glass effect. Content inside, you can just add it just like this. See, this completely morphs the background and looks very realistic, just like a glass, liquid glass from Apple. See, beautiful. Now you can apply the same effect to different, different elements. Beautiful effect. Now, if you need this Figma file, head to the link in my bio and download from there.